arpeggio's den. We're gonna do a walk through here. We're gonna start off with an arpeggio, hence the title. We're gonna start off with our ring finger on the seventh fret A. We're gonna hit the fifth fret D with our index finger. Then we're gonna hit the open G and open B. Then we're gonna drop our index finger and our ring finger down onto the B string, seventh fret and B string, seventh, uh, fifth fret at the exact same time. And we're gonna do a pull off from the seventh fret to the fifth fret and then to open. Now, be aware, once you do this, you hit the seventh fret A, fifth fret D, and then you hit the open G, you do no longer need these fingers here, which gets you time to be able to set up and be prepared to drop them down onto the B string. So, also be aware, I am palm muting this. So a palm mute is when you are gonna take your palm and put it up against the point of contention, which is going to be where the saddle and the string meet. If you go too far forward, it just completely mutes it out. If you go too far back, it doesn't. It doesn't uh, mute it at all. You wanna be able to have a muffled sound. Then we're gonna come into the natural, uh, natural harmonics part of the song. You're gonna hit the 12th fret B. Uh, and I use my ring finger. And then I use my index finger on the seventh fret D. Okay. Then we're gonna use our ring on the G string. Uh, and this is now no longer natural harmonics. We're gonna hit the G string ninth fret. Then we're gonna hit the B string with our index finger on the seventh fret. And we're going to hammer on from seven to eight. And then we're gonna hit the ninth fret G. Be aware that once I hit this ninth fret G and then I hit the seventh fret B, I'm gonna take my ring finger off the ninth fret so that it doesn't chord out like this. We want very clean and articulated. And then you're gonna hit the ninth fret G. So. Also, uh, just to make sure we're on the same page, as per the tab, the palm mute is only happening in the very, very beginning then it does not palm mute anymore. Okay, now the next portion of this song is gonna start off identical to the other, uh, to the other one that we just did. Exact part. Now, when we get to the natural harmonic part, things change up. We're gonna hit the 12th fret B, and then the seventh fret G, and then the seventh fret D. And then we're going to go into a, uh, an arpeggio. We're gonna use our ring finger on the ninth fret D, middle finger on the seventh fret G, and then fifth fret B with the index finger. Okay, so. Now, there are other ways to do this, and if you're astute, you would have found those other ways. However, the reason why I chose to do it this way is because it sets you up to restart the arpeggio from the beginning. And then you're gonna do the natural harmonics like we did in the beginning, 12th fret B, and then seventh fret D. Then it's gonna do a very similar lick like the one that we did in the beginning. And it's going to do the ninth fret G, seventh fret B, and then it's gonna hammer on to eight and then pull back off to seven. And then it, uh, so it should sound like this. Then it's gonna do this. It's gonna start off the arpeggio like you did in the beginning. Um, but it's going to uh, skip out on the B string open. And then you're gonna hit the B string, seventh fret pulls off uh, to the fifth fret to the open, just like you did before. So like that. Then you're gonna go back to the original arpeggio that you did, but with a slight lag on the first note. So. And that's it. So in total. And that is it. Now we're going to go into the rhythms of Daniel in the Arpeggio's Den. Uh, this is going to be one shape, and it's going to be the A-shaped octave. So you're going to be basically placing your, and I'm going to use my index and pinky. You can use your index and ring if you're more comfortable with that, but it's going to be, it's going to start off with the seventh fret A, and then you're gonna put your either ring or pinky onto the ninth fret G. The D string and the low E string will be muted the entire time, and the B and the high E will be open, like that. This is going to be uh, the entire time, and it's gonna go from seven up to 10, then 12, then 14, back to 12, 
all the way down to three, then the second fret, then the first fret. Here's a couple tips that can be able to help you get the rhythm for this. It's going to be two hits, and this is all for the seventh fret. It's gonna be two hits, one hit, two hits, one hit, five hits. So it goes, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two, three, four, five. The next one, when you shift up to the 10th fret, will be two hits, one hit, two hits, one hit. One, two, one, one, two, one. Then the 12th, the 14th, and then the 12th again will be one hit. Then it's gonna go to the third fret and it's gonna do two hits, one hit, two hits, one hit, and then five hits. One, two, one, one, two, one, one, two, three, four, five. It's gonna shift to the second fret and it's gonna do two hits, one hit, and then two hits. One, two, one, one, two. Then it's gonna shift to the first fret and it's gonna hit one hit and then five hits. One, one, two, three, four, five. So in total. One, two, one, one, two, one, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, one, two, one, 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 two, one, one, two, one, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, one, two, one, one, two, three, four, five. Just be aware that I'm doing all downstrokes for this, and this is just to help you get a gist for the rhythm and how it should sound. You need to pay attention to the tab. When I play this, or when it is played, you're going to be playing this with all down-ups. There are rhythmical chucks and everything like that, and it should sound like this. is Daniel in the Arpeggio's Den. Hi, my name is Tom Rodriguez and I am the author of Unlock Your Lute. This book deals with a simple approach to guitar fretboard mechanics and walks you through how to visualize music theory through chord structures. If you're interested in purchasing my book, you can head over to my website at unlockyourlute.com. If you're interested in joining the Unlock Your Lute community, head over to my Patreon. There you can get access to resources, including tabs and backing tracks for this song and many more to come. Links are found in the description. Please consider liking and subscribing if you haven't already. Also remember to hit the bell icon if you want to be notified when new videos are uploaded. Don't be a stranger. If you have any questions, comment below.